Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about this little adorable guy that has been uh, recently added to the contest. Well he hasn't actually officially been added but we had early access crystals and he's been in CCP. Either way technicalities aside. Uh, so mole man now despite being so tiny he's actually an XL tag champion which is interesting to know so he could uh, work for variants too which is again important note he is tagged as villain so blade will absolutely shred him at least in theory and also he's allegedly a defensive tank now he has a lot of abilities and I'm not gonna go through all of them the main kind of like three things that you need to know about mole man is number one he has ability to shrug off all the debuffs he potentially gets placed on him with 1 or 1.5 second delay uh, but that is 100% guaranteed thing to happen as long as he's not already frenzied so it is relatively reliable shrug off and definitely provides him with a ton of utility unfortunately on the downside it doesn't have 100% uptime meaning every time you enter frenzy which is something you do want to do in order to deliver a lot of damage you lose this ability and that means means uh, that also you lose quite a bit of potential usefulness from this ability which is extremely unfortunate because I think the ability is extremely powerful. Second big thing about Mole Man is the fact that whenever he's frenzied you are guaranteed to land a critical hit on every hit. That's a guaranteed chance so effectively kind of like a Corvus or Ghost whenever she lands a hit from her phasing. So that as we all know has the making so something incredibly powerful. Again unfortunately it does uh, not have the biggest uptime in game. You need to amp up to that point where you need to enter your frenzy mode. In order to enter your frenzy mode you need to build up your monster mass and then they expire fairly rapidly. The problem with that is uh, you cannot replenish them uh, fast enough and eventually inevitably you will run out of your uh, monster mass charges. Unlike Captain Marvel, and like she's capable of remaining her binary for the entire fight. So that again is a really powerful ability, can give you access to a lot of damage unfortunately it's not sustainable indefinitely which means that your damage output will go lump up and down uh, based on whenever you enter your frenzy last thing to note is he has access to true accuracy buff from the first second of the fight which is extremely important means you start the fight with true accuracy the bad bet is you lose it once you move past five monster mass which is again something that's extremely likely to happen in the fight and the biggest problem I have with Mole Man and I think what is going to turn out to be Mole Man's main downfall is that these three things are beautiful and powerful but they never exist really in the same time for most part as in uh, when you're in frenzy mode you cannot shrug off anything and that will make him unusable for quite a lot of fights or at, le at the very least will make him very tricky to use. For instance, imagine you're using him against Biohazard, shrugging off all the poisons and bleeds, fantastic. Entering Frenzy, which is the time when you're meant to be finishing off your opponent, you can't really attack them because then you're not going to shrug off any poison or bleed and you're going to die. Right? And the same again. So you want to finish up a fight and you want to do lots of damage, which means you have to be in frenzy mode. But if you're up against an evading champion or auto blocking champion or you need your damage shrug of ability, they're simply not going to be there. So never uh, whenever you are ready to deliver a lot of damage, you basically lose all of your utility, so on and so forth. So that is extremely unfortunate. It kind of feels in a tense kind of like uh, worse version of how I have criticized Mysterio before because uh, the way you consume your gas charges in order to empower your abilities with Mysterio in here it even further emphasizes the feeling that you feel like you're effectually being punished by playing the character and accessing its abilities because you always lose some part of your kind of like ability. Either way before uh, we kind of like draw our final conclusions on the guy we're gonna jump in do a couple of fights I'll show a couple of different examples how to fight with him I guess. Now we jumped in a random act 4 and uh, my kind of like personal idea at least so far with how to use him is I typically start every fight with heavy attack because uh, heavy attacks grant me monster mass so I can amass them uh, quicker and by doing that uh, I will be able to enter frenzy relatively earlier and I do not have to build up to level 3 in order to rely on those 10 frenzy charge things 
Now at this point, I'm going to drop a level one because that's going to give me two more monster mass and place a shock debuff on Deadpool. So we can see that already uh, we are at 10. I believe I'm going to drop in another. We're going to place ourselves in about 12 monster mass, which I think should be enough to finish this fight out. And with that, I'm going to let him hit my block once, enter frenzy, because that's like an alternative how to enter frenzy. Unfortunately, here I messed up and I struck Deadpool's block and this is all a fail. Uh, this was a very kind of sloppy fight. <laughs> We're going to go back in again, but it should be enough to finish out the fight because we had quite a lot of these frenzy charges here at this point. Yes, we finished out a bit of a sloppy fight, so we're going to go and do it again because, uh, yeah, we messed that level one. But the base idea is you just kind of spam your heavy attacks at level one till you build up an appropriate amount of these frenzy charges, uh, basically enough that you th feel confident that you will be able to finish out this fight. So then you do not necessarily have to build up to your level three in order to enter your frenzy mode. Another important thing, and it is actually quite annoying and often will happen unintentionally, is when you take a hit in your block and you have your monster mass build up, you enter the frenzy mode kind of like manually. Uh, kind of like with Captain Marvel when you dash back and hold her block and then you enter this frenzy mode. Now the problem with this is it will often happen unintentionally. <laughs> and I got wrecked there a bit, but it's not the worst thing. And here we can enter the frenzy mode prematurely again. <laughs> this is again not going to be the perfect example of this fight, but... So now we are in frenzy mode, we're unblockable, dealing lots of crits, quite a lot of damage, all good, but our frenzy mode is going to expire in a second here, and now it's gone. So I should have made sure <laughs> he has shock on, I guess. But yeah, uh, this is more or less how moment functions. Now obviously the gameplay is far from perfect. Uh, we'll have a couple more fights with that But at this point I should just enter friendly mode manually again and finish out the fight This level one does have the shock on it and it's actually really important because uh, If opponent is under shock debuff every critical hit deals like additional burst of damage So that does increase your damage output quite significantly once again uh, so uh, here we can see the base of how he operates to me honestly like all of his abilities kind of come together to a mix of discount Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel can shrug off all the debuffs as well when she enters binary I know it's not like as reliable but you can do it relatively early in the fight she had that 12 second indestructible which helps you deal with debuffs as well and then there are these binary charges obviously and he has monster mass charges the problem is it's harder to get these monster mass charges and they expire quicker and it's harder to replenish them and eventually inevitably they always run out and uh yeah that that's pretty much i think what mole man is mole man is an off-brand knockoff version of captain marvel in skill class as far as I'm concerned for the most part, which is extremely unfortunate. Okay, so now we're gonna get hit and block on purpose. Can go deal some damage, drop level one. You can see that burst damage he can deliver is definitely good, but, oh man, I messed up again. <laughs> it's not like groundbreaking. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing quite sloppy here. But the point is, um, I generally do believe he is going to be far less successful version of Captain Marvel and uh, I know many people his, have compared his guaranteed ability to crit to effectively like Corvus but the problem is it's nothing like Corvus because the reason it's so powerful on Corvus Glaive is the fact that you get it from the first second of the fight immediately you have this ability to close out fights in 10 seconds now, Corvus, how impressive would Corvus be if his uh, glaive charges would come after that first cooldown? Imagine if you started the fight with zero glaive charges and you had to wait for that timer to have access to your crits. Corvus would be a shadow of a champion, what he is now. And that is kind of like the point. Corvus' value obviously isn't 
part in the fact that he has access to guaranteed crits. The large part of that value is also in the fact that he has that access from first second of the fight and he immediately finishes out this fight. Now Molman does not. Molman needs a quite substantial ramp up of like, like here you can see. 18 hits or whatever, 20 hits, then the hit on block, then you enter your badassery mode or whatever, and then you can finish your fight. So I don't think it's nowhere near as valuable as Corvus's ability to crit. I think it's definitely much more comparable to Captain Marvel's binary ignition. And again, it's a much, much worth version of that binary ignition because uh, you can't stay in it. That's the big problem. <laughs> like with Captain Marvel, especially if you have Nick Fury synergy, but even without it, you get these 25 charges, but you can spend the rest of the fight in your binary mode so long as you don't mess up too much. And this guy cannot really do that. And yeah, it's, I don't know, harder to play, seems to have less value, seems to have less utility. So, let's go and see. And again, it's not like I'm trying to rip on Mole Man too hard. I'm 100% sure that somebody who's going to run him up is going to find a matchup or two where he's absolutely going to shine. Or there's going to be some interesting video of the guy like absolutely destroying some piece of content. But the point is, uh, will he ever be best for anything? I doubt it. Will he like be a good or great option? I don't think so. I think for anything that he can do in the game, we have champions and can do it better, faster and easier. Like in Moleman's case, I would 100% take Corvus or Captain Marvel movie before I choose to use Moldman for anything. So, uh, that is more or less what I think of the guy. <laughs> I think he has some cool things he can do. I don't think he's like worthless or absolutely horrible, but I think for the most part, uh, he's not a champion that excites me. He's not a champion that I would go and grind arena for. He's not a champion I place huge hopes for. He's kind of like, I don't know, Ronin or some other not awful but relatively less successful champions of last couple of years. Because there are th some things that he can do cool and we definitely still have yet to see him maxed out at his like max damage output, max damage rotations, that kind of stuff. But I just don't see myself finding much value in him or interest at him for it. If I were to run him, it would likely be for, I don't know, AW defense reasons or for the lol factor because he does look really cool and fun. <laughs> I mean, those animations are sweet. Absolutely love them animations. Uh, but yeah, let's go in against magic. Let's see how this works out. I mean, it shouldn't be too great. <laughs> we are definitely within a real possibility of dying here now. Let's place that shock. Oh, she didn't trigger limbo. Awesome. Frenzy ready above five. That's cool. Okay, so this is it, if we can kill magic now. Fortunately, she did trigger Limbo, however, <laughs> we survived it. And we nearly got it done. <laughs> Tiny bit of help. Either way, uh, so yeah, Mole Man. Uh, let's talk about Mole Man a bit more. 
I don't like all of those abilities that require him to lose health in order to gain damage. That's another definite downside and pretty much automatically disables those abilities for a lot of game modes where you're really interested not to die like Alliance War or Alliance Quest for that matter. Uh, shock immunity, full on shock immunity, that's good. That because we don't have that many shock immune champions. When it comes to all her shrug of abilities, they're cool, they're definitely useful, but again, the fact that they're not op and reliable all the time will definitely mess with the actual usability in the quests. Because you can easily bring him in, and I don't know, on a bleed node or a poison node, but not so easily on freezer burn or biohazard and many other nodes where debuffs keep on stacking throughout the fight. Guaranteed crits, we saw that they can definitely deliver a nice amount of burst damage. The problem with all of that is obviously because you run out of your monster mass and then you have to build it all, all up again. And that definitely creates all this uneven damage output distribution, which I am not the biggest fan of. I mean, it's not a deal breaker when executed right, but it's definitely not something I encourage for looking for in, in the champions. And yeah, and unfortunately the fact that you run out of monster mass, unlike like Captain Marvel for instance, is definitely a big downside as well. And uh, yeah, true accuracy as well, it's cool to have, but it does go away later on. So, uh, all in all, my conclusions is I'm not excited about Malman. His animations are cool, but I'll not actively pursue him. I don't think there's anything in game he's like absolutely great at or the best at therefore he has very little interest from me um, I also don't think that his playstyle particularly is amazing or fun or suited for generic questing because you have this build-up phase so he's not gonna be like Corvus or whatever where you just go and absolutely destroy quests and are collected with him because every fight you have the build-up because there are no persistent charges nothing gets carried over so there's that as well. Uh, the good redeeming bits for him is obviously that those utility pieces still are there and in the absence of better choices or perfect choices, he sh should still be able to serve and answer some problems. Additionally, uh, I think you definitely will get some interesting and impressive video clips with him being maxed out on like suicides plus like, I don't know, great synergies, boosts, he will definitely be able to produce a short video clip of a fight where it absolutely tears through an opponent. But then again, we have loads of champions who can do similar things like how clips of Sunspot absolutely destroying stuff and Chorus and pretty much any champions, you name it. I know that people love that kind of stuff and know that that will make him look good. But in all reality, the fact that you have to build up for it every fight and then you can't maintain it for the remainder of the fight, it's not for me. It's not going to be the direction I want to head in. And uh, yeah, so that is more or less my kind of like verdict on Moleman. He's definitely not awful. He's probably, in my book, somewhere as valuable as Ronin is. Uh, as in like, he's master of all trades, and, sorry, jack of all trades, master of none, relatively good good looking and fun to play uh, in moderate doses but uh, not your idea of your like flagship character that's carrying you through the content so when it comes to opening massive amounts for crystals for this guy definitely no would i be interested in running arena for him also no if i ever happen to get this guy as like a six star or something would i have fun playing around with him yes for sure would he be useful for something yes but again, I don't think any scenario where he is the absolute best option, at least currently in the game. So either way, that will about do uh, with my opinions about Molman. I think he's a solid champion. Unfortunately, he feels like a knockoff version of already existing champions like Captain Marvel movie version. And I don't think that is great hope for excellence and top tier candidate or whatever you call it but yeah that'll do for today let me know what you guys think about moleman if you have him already any cool fights any great experience with this guy some cool interactions so on and so forth uh, that will be it uh, for me today uh, again hit that like button hit that sub button hit all the buttons and i'm going to catch you guys soon see ya